What about individuals who want to start putting money into the stock market or even look at investing? Uh, you've mentioned a couple different ways, like uh, the one being with Ethereum and they put $100,000 in. Uh, for some of us, like putting $20 in, if not getting anything back, they think they're losing. Uh, the stock market to make money is a very tricky thing. It's like gambling. But so is real estate. Uh, where would you recommend people who don't have that $100,000 uh, be able to start investing? And then after they start making money, where would you recommend they go to build their next step? Yeah, absolutely. So building wealth is 80% behavioral and 20% head knowledge, right? So we can all read certain things and say, oh, that's a good, it's a cool idea like Dogecoin or Ethereum or, or this particular stock or that real estate investment. But Unless you're building a foundation for your wealth, which is behavioral and character, which is um, budgeting, right? Which is yep. paying off debt, which is um, um, you know not spending as much as as you're making, right? Which is taking certain percentages of what you make and investing. And so, like for example, my wife and I, when we first started out, you know, <laughs> we had next to nothing. I mean, we're living with my brother in his condo. You know, I'm making next to zero in real estate. I mean, the crash hit me so hard in '08. I also saw my clients get really hurt. I mean, that's to the point where yeah. I, I, people are saying, go get a real job. What are you doing? I'm working nights and weekends at a place called Cheesecake Factory to keep the lights on, you know, baby at home. It was bad, barely affording health care. Very, very yep. challenging. But during that time, I had mentors and I had um, uh, people um, building into me, understanding investment real estate, how, how, to, how to buy and sell real estate, how to, how to grow wealth inside of real estate, understand how to underwrite a property. So it was that education piece and that character leadership development piece. And as well, we did the Dave Ramsey thing for, um, for 26 months, we paid off 65,000 of debt, you know, and nice. the bare, bare bones. Um, and, and it worked out. We also had the fortune, fortune to be able to buy a piece of real estate in 2011 or 12, which was like the bottom, bottom of the market for 135,000 a house. And then we were able to sell that two years later for about 250, right? And then we, if you live there two of the last five years in a house, you get you get tax free money there. So it's understanding those nuances, but then being willing to to humble yourself and be like, what's it going to take, right? And all yeah. along the way, my my wife, um, we were living. One of our dreams was her to be home full time with our kids, raise our kids. So we have five kids now, and um, but we but we always believe that hey, we can do this thing, right? These other people who are showing us how to make wealth, they're telling us what is it going to take to get there and persevere. So I'd say, A, it starts with that first. Now, number two, let's say you have some of that or you're in your journey uh, to there. Um, it becomes certainty of conviction of the investment, right? Where we get in trouble is when we're living off of emotion, right? Mm, yeah. Uh, highs and the lows of the headlines, right? And yes. it's certainly very, very, uh, you got to be very cautious in, in the crypto world because that's a lot of what it is for folks who are not studying it and understand it, right? And mm -hmm. so one, one yeah. of the things actually funny with the Ethereum uh, gentleman, he, he's, he's in the Silicon Valley and he saw this a long time ago and he told the story of how he goes, I said, well, what did your wife think when you're investing all this money? And he goes, well, she didn't actually know right away. I'm like, what do you <laughs> He's like, well... We sat down a couple years later and I was like, well, um, so I have something to tell you. And it was like during their anniversary dinner or something. She's like, she thought it was going to be something crazy. Like, what is this? You know, what is something, you know, something going on with our marriage? She's like, no, 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 no. I've been investing in this thing called Ethereum. She's like, cryptocurrency? He's like, yeah. Well, what's it worth? Well, it's gone up quite a bit. She's like, well, sell it all. Sell it all. He's like, no, there's a future for it. And let me explain. And he's, so she's living off of emotion and, and a little bit of knowledge. Yeah. He has very big, big knowledge, but check this out. The story kind of goes both ways here, just so you know. So in 2017, guess what? It goes through the roof, okay? It goes from about 100,000 investment to about 6 million. So what does she say? She's like, sell, sell, sell. He's like, well, I think there's a future in this thing. I think it's going to go higher. Um, but um, she goes, well, but I want to buy a place in Tahoe. I want to buy this house in Tahoe. We can retire. We can do all this stuff. He's like, yeah, okay, let's meet somewhere in the middle. Let's sell some of this. And mm -hmm. so I, so yeah. he goes to, but he goes, I go to sell it, but then I had this capital gains tax. So I was like, ah, so as he's looking for this capital gains tax solution, which he can't find at the time, guess what? Market crashes. Right. So he's like, mm -hmm. ah, shoot. so now he's like, I don't want to sell anything. She's like, fine, we're not going to sell. So then, but he goes, she's like, well, we're going to hold. He goes, yeah, we're going to hold. So he holds all the way to about 45 days ago. And then he finds us and he's like, okay, ready to sell. Well, guess what? The value is now nine and a half million. Okay. So his hundred thousand went to six million, dropped way down, then it went all up to nine and a half million. 
So then he's like, well, what do you want to do? And she's like, sell, sell, sell. And he goes, okay, well, we'll sell some of it, but we're going to do it in you know dollar cost average. And we're going to defer yeah. out. Well, then a couple of weeks after that, it goes to 12 and a half million. Now it's probably huh. 10. So the point is it's been an absolute kind of, kind of roller coaster. Yeah. What we like to say is what will it mean for you if you were able to capture conservatively one, five, 10, whatever that amount is, defer yeah. it. And just realize that money over there is going to be just your cash flow expense money or your never have to work again money or your whatever. Yeah. But when you can establish that vision yeah. with your wealth and then combine the two in a plan, that's when the magic happens. Does that make sense, guys? You have just listened to another information-packed episode of Capital Gains Tax Solutions with Brett Swartz. We hope you enjoyed today's show and found it helpful. Visit CapitalGainsTaxSolutions.com to access the show notes and to access more resources. Don't forget to leave a review and join us again next time.